Today we're going to be talking about benefits of vitamin D from the sun, specifically for getting it from the sun. And this is a big topic for me right now because I recently had my first skin cancer removed. Luckily, it was a basal cell carcinoma and not melanoma. But for the very first time in my life, I'm actually serious about applying sunscreen. Here's the deal. Not all sunscreens are created equal. Chemical sunscreens actually absorb UV rays while mineral sunscreens block UV rays. Chemical sunscreen, we are putting chemicals on our body that could be extremely, extremely harmful. And chemical sunscreens block vitamin D production. Please, please, please stop using chemical sunscreens. It's estimated that at least 50% of Americans are low in vitamin D, and a lot of this is from wearing chemical sunscreen and the big push to wear chemical sunscreens, probably since I was a teenager that push really came out. And what does low vitamin D do to us health-wise? It can lead to decreased immunity. I think we all experience that or some of us ex experience that in the winter. They talk about it being flu season. It's actually stay indoors and don't get enough sunlight season that really <laughs> leads to that decreased immunity. It can lead to muscle weakness, bone weakness, even up to osteoporosis. It can lead to depression and it can lead to cancer. And then when we're talking about putting chemicals on ourselves beside that, I think it's going to double up on that cancer risk. So how can we get the benefits from vitamin D from the sun, but safely? First of all, I recommend going out very first thing in the morning and just for about five to 10 minutes and standing where you can have the sun on your skin. And I would actually do this part without sunscreen. And this will actually tell your body to stop producing melatonin and it will help to wake you up for the day. You can even take some deep breaths that will help ground you and energize you. And even if you can't do this every day, start with just two to three days. I mean, you could start with one day, but <laughs> start with two to three days. And I think you're really going to fall in love with this time. You're going to love how it feels on your skin. You're going to love the grounding of the breath work and standing outside and on the earth. And you're going to really notice a difference in that melatonin production set shutting off so that you have energy for the day. It's kind of amazing. But here's the part that really blows my mind. One full body UV exposure causing a slight peakness in the skin is equivalent to taking an oral intake of 10,000 to 25,000 IUs of vitamin D3. So just being out in the sun long enough to get a slight peakness on your arms and on your face, it's like taking a huge dose of vitamin D, but it's the natural kind, which our body always uses better. So if we do that, uh, I actually get pink really quickly, but if I do that and just get my a slight pinkness to my skin, I know I've gotten my vitamin D for the day, and that's going to lead to so many health benefits now and in the future. So I'm going to put the amazing sunscreen that I use in the show notes. Of course, it's free safe. It's also human safe, <laughs> and it comes in lotion, a non-aerosol spray, and a stick, so you can really find which one is your favorite. I'm also going to include my recommendation for a vitamin D supplement. It's actually called Bone Nutrient Complex. And I would honestly try getting outside first thing in the morning for five or 10 minutes, two to three times a week first before you supplemented, especially if a doctor's kind of tracking your vitamin D, try the sunlight first, first thing in the morning, not at high noon, y'all. <laughs> and watch how quickly your vitamin D just gets back into the normal range. I'm excited for you to try this for a lot of reasons. I hope you try it. Please let me know. Let me know if you have any questions. Please subscribe or follow and I will see you next time.